Hey, and welcome back to another video from my Vintage Tech Showcase playlist. And what I have for you today here is the Nokia 3650 from 2003. So the Nokia 3650 is a phone that was released uh, in 2003, but it was announced in 2002. It is the direct successor to the Nokia 7650. And if you know, if you already know, about old Nokia phones. The Nokia 7650 was the first ever Nokia phone with a camera. So this is the direct successor to that phone. Uh, this phone is known by many names, but the most common name among like the collectors community and stuff is the washing machine phone. It's cause this thing, the dial on this phone looks like a washing machine. Now, Nokia's reasoning to be to put this instead of a, um, standard keypad is it's easier to text and that's i get that i get that for some people this might be easier to one hand text so one handing texting uh was easier than this it's better than doing that you can just do this um it runs the symbian uh series 60 version 1.2 we'll talk about that in a bit and like i said announced 2002 released 2003 um it uh, uh, improved on some features from the 7650 such as expandable memory, a slightly better battery. It can also record video, but I think it's limited to six seconds for each clip um, and was cheaper than the 7650. Uh, it is also the first Symbian OS device to appear in American markets. Um, and as you can see, it's a very strange looking phone. Uh, we'll have a quick go around of this phone. Now this, I got it for like $12 a few months ago, what not a few months ago, quite a long time ago, actually. Uh, it was quite cheap. It was listed as broken, but it turns out it works with a bit of charging and a new battery. Um, front of the phone, again, weird dial at the bottom. Um, pretty unique. This is one of Nokia, back when Nokia was in, experimenting with phone designs. We had the N-Gage, the 3300, the, um, what is that? The, the egg phone. I forgot what that phone was even called. They called it the Nokia egg phone. A lot of weird shaped phones with weird button placements and stuff. Nokia was experimenting with phones at the time. So that's the front of the phone. Um, Nokia branding, uh, speaker at the top. The display and the glass, well, it's not glass, it's plastic. The, the LCD and the plastic have a huge gap between them. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. I'll show it to you when I turn the phone on, but there's a huge gap between the uh, LCD and the uh, the plastic. That's good in case you drop the phone, the plastic damages, but not the uh, um, LCD. This has a hot swap body, like you can easily take the body apart and replace the replace the panels like the 3310. There were a lot of uh, panels and colors to choose from. You can swap the body out for, um, I think Coca-Cola Coca -Cola did some um, bodies for this phone. Um, the NFL, I think, did a phone body. I don't know. They used to give them out at um, events, especially for the 3310, but this one also had them. Uh, you could uh, replace the uh, housing, the body, uh, pretty easily by pressing these two and you can separate it. I'm not going to do it now, but you could buy separate bodies. This is the original body for this phone. Uh, it used to be an AT&T wireless phone as well. So that's the front of the phone, bunch of buttons, call. Uh, this is the menu button. It has this weird blue logo-like thing. That's the menu button. <clears throat> On the side, uh, nothing much, just a hole here. Don't know what that's for. The back, we have a VJ camera, the battery release. So you pull it down like that, and then you have access to the battery. We have a BL5C. I'm not sure if this is its original battery or it even came with, I think it didn't come with a battery. I had that BL5C lying around. Um, AT&T wireless, surprisingly, that's not scratched off. Uh, this side, this, again, the pressing to, the button to press to release the body. Uh, bottom, we got the uh, thicker barrel charger, the older style thicker barrel charger. Um, not sure what that is. Oh, that's that's a headphone jack. Yeah, okay. So that's a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, this thing, for some reason, used the 2.5. Uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks uh, did exist at that time. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really even sure that's a, a 2.5 mil. It could be a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments. And then you get the charging dock station you could have bought separately. Um, at the top, we got the, uh, 
this is to another thing to release the body width and the camera the, the the power button and yeah that's a quick go around of the phone now let's turn it on okay so let's go ahead and turn it on i think i've turned down the volume um and this thing has to be plugged in as well because uh, the battery isn't so good anymore nokia logo please don't say sim card invalid okay it's good now because sometimes it does not like sim card uh, like newer sim cards i had to go hunting for an old sim card which i found inside one of my n gauges um so let's talk about display so tft lcd uh 2.1 inches uh 176 by 208 pixels which is around 130 pixels per inch uh, you can put your own wallpaper but i have not done uh that yet um and like i said earlier if you can see um let me get to the menu you can see it better through the menu um the lcd and the plastic there's a huge gap between them um so that's quite nice i noticed that uh makes the phone even stronger and uh, like i said earlier this thing is running symbian um it can do up to 6.1 as I believe or 6.2 however uh, this phone is not updated fully um, I'm pretty sure there's an update somewhere but uh, I'm not gonna bother even doing it let's see which version this thing runs so what was that hash no it'll star hash zero 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 hash there we go version 3.16 2003 NHL 8 so 3.16, quite an older version. I don't think this phone was ever updated. I'm not really sure, uh, but that's what it's running. And I think it can do up to 6.1 uh, series 60, but that uh, is that update is for later. I might even keep it on this. I'm not sure. <clears throat> so uh, now that software discussion is out of the way, um, we can go to what powers this phone. So a 104 megahertz ARM9 is what powers this phone. So 104 megahertz, that's kind of crazy uh, to think back in the day, that was probably one of the most powerful processors on mobile out there. But now um, it's just uh, it's just unheard of. Now we're talking in the gigahertz range, uh, octa-core processors, sometimes dual octa-core processors, 1.8, 2.7 gigahertz. So a single core 104 megahertz, that's uh, that's long gone. That's that's so many years ago. I mean, it's 2003. So uh, what do you expect? Um, it has a card slot, so it's MMC. It's one of the bigger cards. I wish I can take the battery cover off. It's a bigger full sized uh, um, card uh, memory card, and this one shipped with a 16 MB card. It still has its old card in the back. Uh, I'm using it right now. It has internal four megabytes, uh, internal of four megabytes. And um, like I said, you can expand it by buying separate cards. But back in the day, I'm pretty sure that would have been more than enough. Um, scrolling through the UI here, and I forgot to show you earlier the Symbian UI. Um, simple color, simple basic stuff. Um, wasn't so organized because extras, the about phone section is here. And then tools is separate. That's where settings is. Uh, SIM card settings are separate. At, eventually they put everything under settings. Um, but for some people, this would have been easier because they know where everything is and not everything's under settings. Um, Snake, so let's open Snake. You can't do Nokia without opening Snake. So options, single player. Let's do maze one. Let's see if I'm any good at this. Um, move so where's the egg so the eggs over there is it an egg or is it a sheep i think that's a sheep so you're an anaconda i guess um oh 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 there we go so let's go out of there and um <clears throat> I'm, I'm playing this through the viewfinder so i'm not going to be that great but trust me i used to be really good on my mom's old 3310 back in the day and i'll be showing you that 3310 when i go home this time because it still works well of course it still works it's a nokia i'm just uh, wondering where, whether i should take a battery for it because its battery is shot okay so that's enough of that uh, close um 
that was snake this is mix fix or something i think it's a picture matching thing or something i don't know um but either way now let's uh move on to camera so we have a vga camera just simple vga nothing to it again this was the successor to the first phone that nokia had with the camera so slightly better than that phone but uh, obviously not too great so simple vga camera obviously no front camera why why even why is that even a question um it had video recording and i believe it's 360 or uh, i don't know i'll put it up on screen if i do find it out but it's basic video it's not even 480 it's 360 or i don't know really basic and it's limited to six seconds as i believe um <clears throat> here are some samples from the rear camera that i took today um I don't know, they speak for themselves, obviously it's 2003, don't judge, um, but I guess for its time that was a decent camera, or that was one of the only cameras you could actually get, so I don't think decent even is the word there, because it was probably one of the only cameras around, because a lot of phones at this time didn't really have cameras. This was a generally considered to be a higher end phone, um, with all these features and the weird shape and stuff. Um, so there's some photos from the rear camera and here's a six second video of me walking around. Okay, so for additional features, this thing has Bluetooth 1.1, which is the only way I'll be able to get the photos and videos out of this phone because I do not know how to plug this to a computer. Um, I don't think this can be plugged to a computer actually but I may be wrong, I don't know. Um, Bluetooth 1.1, it has an infrared port somewhere. Um, I'm reading the spec sheet here. There's an infrared port somewhere here, so it you could use that for uh, stuff like that. Um, it has, well, it, it did come with, like I said earlier, Express covers. They called it Express on covers. You could swap the bodies the way you want. So that also one of was one of its uh, selling features. You press the, this and the top uh, button like that and the, the cover separate. So you can buy covers or you can get them at events. Um, it was kind of hard to get one with the original cover because a lot of people did swap out the cover. So th I got lucky when I found this phone with its original cover because a lot of the other phones had like third-party covers, Coca-Cola, etc., etc. Um, general other features, it has a calculator, it's voice dial, voice record, etc., etc. Uh, colors, meaning the original colors, uh, came in yellow, uh, gray, like this one. Uh, it's white at the back and then there's gray here as well, and dark blue. The dark blue one is super rare um, and um, it's really nice as well. I want to get my hands on one of those someday. Um, battery life, uh, BL5C, let's take a look, um, BL5C, uh, the, BL5, the BL5C battery is a 850 milliamp hour battery, uh, it can do standby of up to around uh, 180 to 200 hours, around 180 to 200 hours, and talk time from around 2 to 5 hours-ish. Uh, it varies depending on your brightness settings and stuff. Uh, this is 2003. Two hours was considered quite a long talk time. And Nokia was the highest. Uh, Nokia had the best battery life at the time. And this phone was no different. Uh, it had an excellent battery life for its time. It's just this battery is not doing that well at this time in 2021 hence why it's plugged to the charger and i'm gonna have to quickly run outside take the sample photos that you saw earlier because i'm recording this before taking the sample photos um so i have to quickly run outside take those photos and run back in because the battery is not gonna last that long um it's quite a heavy phone as well for its time not many phones were this heavy but this one is quite it's quite bulky as well it's big it's bulky um but it's one of the more unique nokia phones out there and um, I hope to get the blue one as well. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that was the sort of retro review of the Nokia 3650 from 2003. Um, I will be posting on more Nokia phones and other retro phones as well. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button as well as that like button. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.